Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Solar Decathlon Director Richard King. Hey, good morning everyone. <clears throat> Thank you so much for coming to the U.S. Department of Energy Solar Decathlon. Good morning teams, are you ready? All right, they're up and ready. You know, one of the priorities at the Department of Energy is increasing our nation's energy literacy. Through the Solar Decathlon, we recruited the world's brightest, most creative minds we could find and challenged them to educate us while they educate themselves. We did, they did their part, now it's time to do their, ours. So before we let you into their houses so you can learn from them, we have a number of our strongest supporters I want you to meet. First, I'm pleased to introduce Dr. Arun Majundar from the U.S. Department of Energy. He serves as the Senior Science Advisor to the Secretary of Energy. Please welcome Arun Majumdar. Thank you, Richard. It's clear that I know now that you're a rock star. Thank you for doing what you're doing. Good morning. Good morning. Oh, that's not good enough. Good morning. good morning. There you go. So first of all, to all the international teams, where are the international teams? Raise your hands. A warm welcome to the United States of America. For all the American teams, welcome to Washington, D.C. While you're here in D.C., I, I really hope you enjoy the history, the museums, the international variety of food, which I really like, and it shows the football, the baseball, and I, I hope you, know, you enjoy the competition. This is really important. Senator Menendez, distinguished international guests, sponsors, faculty, colleagues, and most of all, the students. I'm really honored to be here with you to open the U.S. Department of Energy's Solar Decathlon 2011. I bring greetings from the Energy Secretary, Dr. Stephen Chu, who I know is excited to visit you next week. He will be here. Now, he's another rock star, and you'll enjoy meeting him and just chatting with him. I really like the name Solar Decathlon. The decathlon is a Greek word, means 10 contests. And clearly, you will compete in all 10 of them. I'm from California. And in... There you go, blue and gold. And clearly, you know, you know in California, you may have had to, to compete for the 11th one, which is an earthquake. But here in DC, you don't have to worry about earthquakes, do you? Anyway, I'm, I'm sure you'll take care of that, all the construction, earthquake retrofits, etc. It's clear in this decathlon that this is about using our natural resources in the most efficient way. It showcases the home designs, and it's absolutely inspiring to see what's going on out here. And these are practical, these are fun, these are elegant, and most importantly, these are affordable. It is about being smart and how we use, how we live our lives, how we use energy, and how to save money by saving energy. And while this competition may, be, may seem about solar decathlon, and it clearly is, and efficient homes, let me offer a different view. I've been a professor of engineering all my professional life, and I've been working with students for more than 20 years. And nothing is more inspiring and fulfilling than when a group of students work together as a team with a common goal to achieve something, to compete and win, where they push themselves to the limit, challenge each other, exceed their expectations, and innovate in ways that just surprise you, pleasantly surprise you. These teams defy, defy mathematics, 
because they prove that 1 plus 1 is greater than 2. But this does not come easy. I'm sure many of you, and I've seen when I've taught students and they worked in projects together, I'm sure many of you have debated with each other, spent many all-nighters, right? All-nighters? Yep. All-nighter champion out there. And, you know, sometimes frustrated, sometimes overjoyed, late homeworks, missed holidays, missed exams, and so on. And yet you are here today because there is an inner voice telling you that together as a team that you would achieve something that you could not do alone. Something that is meaningful. Something that shows you that there's a better way to live our lives. And something for which you're willing to make sacrifices. That inner voice, that internal compass, is the voice of leadership. And while some of you may win this competition and others may not, in my eyes, you're all leaders of your generation. Because your inner voice is awake. And you have stepped up to the plate to shape the world around you. That's the really most important thing. It is critically important that this is an international event. Since you are leaders of the future, I hope you get to know each other. Because in the future, you leaders may be sitting across the table to figure out how to make this, this world a better place for your children and your grandchildren. And let the solar decathlon be the start of that personal friendship. I wish you all the best. Have fun in doing what you're doing, and it's quite clear you're going to have fun. You know, laundry, cooking, telling your stories, meeting other competitors, and showing off your just fabulous, inspiring designs. The Department of Energy is very proud of all of you. We are proud to see your amazing achievements, and I'm personally inspired to meet so many of clean energy leaders of tomorrow. I know how, how I'm going to spend this weekend. I'll be here with you. Thank you very much, and good luck to you. Thank you, Arun. Now I'd like to introduce a special guest, Senator Robert Menendez from New Jersey. He currently serves on the Senate Committees on Finance, Banking, Housing, and Urban Affairs in Foreign Relations. Now, the good senator came in 2009 and he wondered why there wasn't a New Jersey team in this competition. So he put out a challenge to all the New Jersey teams and lo and behold, we have a New Jersey team with us. He's one of our greatest champions. Senator, please. Well, thank you, Richard. <clears throat> Thank you, Richard, for that <clears throat> gracious introduction, and more importantly, for your leadership uh, with the department in putting uh, an extraordinarily amazing event together. Uh, as a member of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee, let me say to all of our international competitors and guests, a warm welcome and a hand of friendship from the United States of America. Welcome to America. Uh, and. And to all of my fellow Americans and my fellow New Jerseyans, welcome to the nation's capital where you will show the rest of the nation and the world how we can be good stewards of the land for future generations of Americas. Welcome to the Sola de Capo. I want to thank uh, all of the sponsors, uh, all of the professors, and all of the teams, uh, and the competitors for being here to show the world a path to our energy future. This is a competition, uh, but we are really here today to celebrate the achievement of every student participating. Through your hard work and collaboration, you have built 20 truly world-class sustainable solar homes in a remarkably short period of time. Your achievements are quite a nice change of pace for Washington these days. Uh, maybe we can learn something about coming together in common cause for a goal. It is sometimes difficult hearing uh, some of my colleagues questioning 
uh, climate science or the solar industry. But that is what makes the solar decathlon such an important and great event. You are here in the heart of the nation's capital showing that we can power our homes on renewable energy, that we can live our lives without generating climate pollution, that scientists, engineers, and architects can accomplish great things no matter how powerful incumbent power interests uh, are or how much they spend in lobbying. And for that, I want to thank each and every one of you that have participated. I think you bring a positive force, uh, giving us all hope for the future. Uh, let me take a, a moment of personal privilege uh, to congratulate Rutgers, NJIT, and the Stevens Institute of Technology for proudly representing my home state of New Jersey today. Almost uh, two years ago, I laid down a challenge to universities in New Jersey to compete in this event because we had none. And as the state with the largest number of installations uh, in the nation, solar installations, I couldn't understand that. And so I appreciate that these three schools have responded with creative and compelling designs that move sustainable concepts from a drawing board to reality. And as great as it is to see the teens from New Jersey and the rest of the country and the world uh, answer my challenge to compete, it's not long ago we were wondering if that competition would be here uh, in Washington at the National Mall. And I was happy to work with the students here today and to work with the administration to forge a sensible solution so that the competition can be in a place of prominence that it deserves here on the National Mall. So, so thank you for allowing me to play a part in the decathlon. Thank you to the student leaders who had to be not only architects and engineers, but also urban planners, communications experts, fundraisers, carpenters, electricians, transportation coordinators, and pizza wranglers. Congratulations to all of you. You're leading us to a brighter, cleaner, greener, smarter future, and that is something the nation can certainly uh, look upon with great joy. Congratulations. We look forward to the competition, and have some fun while you're here. So our last speaker is another special guest, special because she's one of our decathletes. Elizabeth Nigert is a student representative this year, and she is a member of the SciArc Caltech team from California. Please welcome... Please welcome Elizabeth. Thank you. I'm really honored and proud to represent all the teams, and I hope I do you proud up here as well. It's a rare opportunity to have your vacation be your advocation, all while doing good. The Solar Decathlon is unique in that it offers this opportunity. Through this competition, thousands of university students from across the world, including those among you today, have spent years dedicated to the advancement of clean energy technology. This level of commitment could only emerge from a deep desire for progress. The Solar Decathlon ties in a broad range of disciplines, engineering, archit architecture, marketing, fundraising, finance, and PR. It encourages and affords the possibility for teams to be entirely student-run in organization, structure, management, and execution. This experience creates leaders, influencing career paths by extending students to tackle disciplines typically outside of our chosen fields. This competition has a broad scope. Teams are tasked to fundraise, communicate their project's intentions through web, video, and print, market their building towards a target demographic, and contextualize their project within that market, not to mention having to design, build, engineer, and transport across the country, and at times the world, all while doing this within an affordable budget, our new challenge for 2011. We're stretched beyond our fields, inciting the creation of new skills and expanding our exposure to the plethora of forces required to complete a project of this magnitude. So here we are, 
in our nation's capital after two years of research, design, and development towards creating the next generation of clean energy housing. I've imagined this moment often, surrounded by our solar village, watching the sun setting on the Washington Monument. There's a certain pride and awe inspired when driving to the solar decathlon site, past the Lincoln Memorial, looking up from our house to see the Washington Monument in the near distance, and walking over to the Martin Luther King Jr. and Jefferson Memorials illuminated across the water. We've come together on this public and iconic site to educate and promote the feasibility of living a cost and energy efficient life. The National Mall evokes an acute relevance. This is where today's discourse is focused, not only within the United States, but around the globe. Our president issued a challenge to focus on the hardest problems of clean energy. We're here today from across the globe to share those innovations and stand up for clean energy. Thank you, and may the best team win.